you are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. You are here today to witness the joining in marriage of Nicholas Roger Balcom and Shina Raj. Thornbury Castle provides us with a delightful venue for a special occasion. So mahora sam kalyanam arogyam nirvigne namaha so bham bhavatu swasti naha indro vradasravaha swasti naha poshaha vishwavedaha swasti na shu aristana me swasti nom brahaspati dadatu welcome you into this beautiful wedding ceremony. You both look fantastic. Excellent. With the second step, let us vow to be strong together. With the third step, let us vow to be wealthy together. With the fourth step, let us vow to be happy together. With the fifth step, let us vow to have children together. Sixth. With the sixth step, let us vow to be comfortable with each other. With the seventh, with the seventh step, step, let, let us, us vow to be friends of each other. Each other. Okay, well, here we go. Um, the normal role of somebody speaking first is to welcome a multitude of guests, but we're such an elite bunch. <laughs> what I do want to do, though, is first of all, say how pleased we are to have Bindu here, uh, to have made the trouble to come across. It is all about families gathering together and making the most of these occasions. For a long time now, Shana has called us mum and dad. Uh, and that's created great warmth for us. And she's now become a daughter-in-law. So she has a mother-in-law, a father-in-law, and a brother-in-law. Now, I would like to dispense with the in-law bit. <laughs> and we will carry on with the theme that you already set. The first moment I met you, I felt an incredible connection to you. And that has never ever gone through thick and thin. And you've brought me such joy and happiness into my life. 
Thank you for all the love and support you've given me. And you're beautiful. You're beautiful inside and you're beautiful outside. And I know you'll always be like that. Marriage in this country means the union of two people, voluntarily entered into for life and to the exclusion of all others. The purpose of marriage is that you may always love, support and cherish each other through all the joys and sorrows of life and that love may be fulfilled within a relationship of permanent and continuing commitment. More than this, marriage joins two people who trust in the love that they have found together. It is a partnership in which each can grow and be their true selves, while also becoming part of the other. It expresses the confidence that human warmth and dedication to the well-being of each other can overcome whatever the future may hold. Nick and Shina have found in each other happiness, fulfillment and love. As a consequence of this, they now wish to affirm their relationship and to offer to each other the security which comes from legally binding vows sincerely made and faithfully kept. Takes me to my new mum, Emma. Oh, yeah. uh, Emma, okay. We are absolutely honoured that you're here today. Um, there's no doubt at all that of everyone here today, you've certainly travelled the furthest. <laughs> Uh, approximately 5,000 miles by my estimation. Nyan, Ningilude, Magale, Noki, Kolomenu, Uwagdamanu, Taranu. give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment to you as a symbol of my love and commitment to you I trust that our marriage will remain strong I trust that our marriage will remain strong and look to our future together and look to our future together with hope happiness and joy with hope happiness and joy may we, we treasure this day May we treasure this day and never allow anything to destroy and never allow anything to destroy the feelings we have for each other. The feelings we have for each other. I promise to support you and comfort you. I promise to support and comfort you. Through good times and through troubled times. Through good times and through troubled times. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. With love and patience. With love and patience. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And be faithful always. And be faithful always. These promises I make to you. These promises I make to you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol. As a symbol. Of my love and commitment to you. Of my love and commitment to you. I trust that our marriage. I trust that our marriage. Will remain strong. Will remain strong. And look to our future together. And look to our future together. With hope, happiness and joy. With hope, happiness and joy. May we treasure this day. May we treasure this day. I promise to care for I promise to care for you with love and patience. With love and patience. To respect and cherish you. To respect and cherish you. And be faithful always. And be faithful always. These promises I make to you. These promises I make to you. For the rest of my life. For the rest of my life. From time to time, there may be the odd ripple on the surface. Now that happens with all marriages, I've got 59 years to experience to say that. But all ripples can be smoothed out. And the other thing to remember is, 
Overcoming the ripples and the making up process can be very enjoyable. <laughs> so make the most of that. I'm convinced in my mind that we have no worries whatsoever. We will see a long and happy marriage and shared life together, including this one. And everybody here certainly and others to wish you well on your way. Thank you so much for arranging such a wonderful get together. It's something we'll never forget. Marriage joins two people. Marriage is a commitment to life, the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It is a physical and an emotional joining that is promised for a lifetime. Within the circle of its love, marriage encompasses all of life's most important relationships. A wife and a husband are each other's best friend, confident, lover, teacher, listener and critic. And there may come times when one partner is heartbroken or ailing, and the love of the other may resemble the tender caring of a parent for a child. Marriage deepen, deepens and enriches every facet of life. Happiness is fuller, memories are fresher, commitment is stronger, even anger is felt more strongly and passes away more quickly. Marriage understands and forgives the mistakes life is unable to avoid. It encourages and nurtures new life, new experiences and new ways of expressing a love that is deeper than life. When two people pledge their love and care for each other in marriage, they create a spirit unique unto themselves which binds them closer than any spoken word or written words. Marriage is a promise, a potential made in the hearts of two people who love each other and takes a lifetime to fulfill. I promise to uphold the vows I've given you today. And I'm proud to call you my wife. Nanin Nason Hekun. May you treasure the bond created today between you both and enjoy the responsibility you now have for each other and for your future lives together. It is my pleasure and my privilege to declare that you are now husband and wife and Nick, you may kiss your bride. Given what you've already done and achieved and your current plans for the future, I'm in no doubt that you're in. You're already heading in a great direction, at speed and with clear roads ahead. I'm sure I speak for everyone here in offering you, all three of you, our full support and look forward to seeing you both take your journey and sharing parts of that journey with you from time to time. Um, I'm therefore so grateful to you, and I can't imagine having a better sister-in-law. You also made me an uncle again too, which is really even better. Um, so I'm so grateful to have been invited to be a part of this special day, which I'm happy to conclude by asking you all to raise a glass and toast the bride and groom. Bride and groom. Uh, so she really does have this incredible ability to bring joy and happiness, and that's what she's brought me. And I'm proud to be her, do uh, her, her daddy. Proud to be your daddy, aren't I? Mm -hmm. And I promise that I'll look after you. Oh. So please raise your glasses then. Toast is Tom Cruise. <laughs> Thank you.
ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ಸೌಭಾಗ್ಯ ಆಯುಷ್ಯಮಾನ ಬೀರ್ಘಾಯು ಬರೋಗ್ಯವಾನ ಬಹು